Hello and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic and our wonderful Sith Warrior Lightside playthrough. And I'm personally extremely intrigued and excited to see what happens next because every single Lightside option, I've never seen it before. I've never seen it before, so it's completely new to me and I have no idea how it's actually going to change what kind of interactions we have. For example, we have Overseer Tremel right here and as you can see, he has sent us a mail and he says, Our ploy has worked, Acolyte. I escaped Korriban in disguise without arousing Darth Barriss' suspicion. Though free, I mustn't stop moving. I instructed thousands of Sith. If even one recognizes me, Barris will hunt me down and punish your treachery. For this reason, I have left Imperial space. Remember my teachings and watch yourself. Darth Barris is a master tactician who will not suffer defiance. May we meet again one day. And he's given us some credits. And then we have met, uh, well, we've received a message from Lanata Droge, who is the guy that was, uh, you know, researching those cybernetic implants that were, well, implants and limbs and so on and so forth that were able to regrow themselves similar to actual flesh. So let's have a look at what he says. My cybernetic research data is safe. Project Ark will continue with Lord Grathen's backing. I've already done preliminary trials on several volunteers, and the results are incredible. Our wounded veterans can look forward to new medical treatments and cybernetically regrown limbs, and it's all thanks to you. By the way, I heard that Ismar Brengel is in a spot of trouble. It seems she tried to sell some cybernetic research data on the black market, but the data turned out to be the breeding notes for Lord Grathen's pedigree to Carter. Just for that, I'd like to send you a little something. And there we go. And so he sent us 290 credits. Obviously, I don't really care about the rewards. The rewards are basically negligible in every single respect. But that doesn't matter. I just like seeing what actually happens in general. You know, I like seeing the, the changes and the, the differences between this and the last time. Because obviously the last time that I played, I'm not entirely sure if I actually allowed Tremel to live or whether I killed him in sort of like honorable combat that's a thing that i still am unsure of because i actually do not remember pretty much it. anything of what i did in the previous playthrough because this was literally eight years ago or something like that so i really do not remember anyway let's go and see what darth barris has to say to us and maybe just maybe we're gonna learn a little something from him not a minute too soon your timing is impeccable did it just get considerably colder? I see you decided to keep the slave. I hope she amuses you. I trust you've been acquainting yourself with your new environs. Did my minion point you in the right direction? He's a dutiful servant who lives to serve you. A properly beaten down slave is the only trustworthy creature in the galaxy. Your responsibilities will mandate contact with my various minions, meet my directives, and you may do as you will to anyone you encounter, adversary or ally. You can trust that I'll use good judgment, Master. I have painstakingly built a vast network of spies and operatives embedded throughout the Sith, Republic and Jedi alike. I have fingers, eyes and ears everywhere. You've successfully infiltrated the Jedi Order. Yes, my operatives are completely undetected, and I wish to keep it that way. I track our enemy, weakening and influencing them from within, waiting to strike. You're my enforcer, deployed to protect my interests, intimidate my rivals, and destroy my enemies. It's time for your tenure to begin. A military starship is touching down at the Cost City cargo port, delivering a vitally important prisoner to me. You will meet Commander Lanklin at Docking Bay 12 and make sure he and his men successfully offload this prisoner. If you're sending me, you must be expecting trouble. We must always assume that we are being plotted against, especially when the stakes are high. The importance of this prisoner cannot be overstated. Go to the cargo port now and stay sharp. You are dismissed.
All right, not too bad, not too bad. We got 15,000 experience for that. And now, well, now, now we have to, well, travel a pretty fair distance away by the looks of things. All right, so you remember that Vet actually asked to speak to us, right? Well, this is as good a time as any. So, hey, I've been thinking, maybe you want to take this shock collar off? You know, as a sign of thanks for my hard work on Korriban. Not that I don't enjoy the perpetual fear of electrocution. You've earned it, Vet. It is not freedom, though. Wow. Now I feel stupid for not asking sooner. Don't worry. I'll try not to give you reason to slap that thing back on. Neither the collar nor your slavery were my idea. I hear you. Just another day in the life of the Empire, huh? Well... I'm not in prison, or collared, and it's sort of miserable weather, so I guess we should... Uh... What happens now? You and me, working together, taking down the galaxy. What do you think? What? Uh, well... Of course. Me and my buddy, the Sith. Nobody's gonna pick on me at school. Sorry. Let's just get going, yeah? Ah, uh, not bad, not bad. Look at that. We got 520 influence gain with her, which is pretty nice. And uh, obviously, well, we, you know, I guess we are probably going to be romancing her. Um, someone actually did mention that I romanced Vet on my previous Sith Warrior. I'm not entirely sure if I did, because I can't remember, as I say. But if I did, then, well, I, we're just going to do it earlier this time, aren't we? We're just going to be doing it much earlier, because as far as I'm aware... I did it very late in that previous playthrough. And now let's go in into our story phase. Let's actually see what's going on here because we've got to take a little elevator. And no doubt we've got some, uh, sh shall we say, mischievous goings on in the cargo port. And no doubt they're going to try to uh, double cross us. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, man, let's hurry up and get this hunk of carbonite to its owner. Captain Olivius. Boo. Oh, I, I didn't see you enter. Lord Barris didn't need to send a welcoming party. Obviously, Lord Barris feels otherwise. My men and I have performed much more dangerous duties for Lord Barris. The prisoner is frozen in carbonite, so it's not a flight risk. And this is friendly territory. Surely we're safe here. Sith interests are complicated. Yes, my lord. Whatever you say. Let's get this oversized block of ice to your master. Not so fast. Huh? My master ordered that block of ice. So step away from the carbonite man and no one ends up in a grave. Your master is going to be disappointed. Perhaps I didn't make myself plainly clear. I'm here to relieve you of your burden. Whether that includes your own lives as well is up to you. Looky, looky. If it ain't Slestak, your master be wanting the froze man too, huh? Too bad for you. It mine. You two know each other. To know Tuma is to hate Tuma. That go true for you too, Slestak. If you don't flee, this be like killing two stone with one bird. I'm such a fool. I'll never doubt Lord Barris again. What do we do? Don't panic. On their own, Tumar and his lackeys wouldn't be much of a fight. You mouth always get you in trouble, Slestak. It about to chew off more than it can bite. Did you come here to chat or fight? I know you're Sith, stranger, but I think your bravado is ill-advised. He got ideas, Slestak. How about we play Wishbone with the talker? Bigger half, get the spoils. A truce, then. You stood a chance against one set of us Sith, but even a Master Force user can't beat these odds. 
I'm going to kill you and eat you all raw. Eat me? Me here, right? This Sith say he eat me! Yes, I heard that as well. Do you really mean to eat us if you kill us? It's just a figure of speech. Ah, well. All right then. Men, attack! Time for killing, boys! I was trying to make a joke. I was trying to make a joke, everyone. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. And, uh, well, they didn't get it. No one got it. Everyone was just like, what? What is he saying? He's absolutely out of his mind. Uh, well, to be fair, the Sith are kind of known for not really having a sense of humor, I suppose. But, yeah. Anyway, there we go. That was extremely simple. Very easy because of the DPS companion, of course. I see more ambushes on the way. Maybe you can hold them off while my men and I make a run for it and deliver the prisoner to Lord Barris. I'll cover you. Go. Come on, man. Double time. All right. We got some We got some more guys right here. This is actually hilarious cuz they they're super you know what? I gotta say it right now. I'm gonna say it right now. I actually find, as I said, I, I, I actually said this before, but I'm gonna say it again because I feel like it's 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 worth repeating. The combat system in this game is actually so fun. It's actually surprisingly good fun in comparison to what you may expect it to be because it is a heavy narrative experience. And you'd think, oh yeah, heavy narrative experience games, they may not need to focus on the combat system that much. But I find it so fun to run around with, you know, two lightsabers and just slicing at people and, oh, it's just, it's just really enjoyable. I think it's really enjoyable at least. And now we're about to speak to Darth Barris once again and, oh, he's actually outside of his office. Oh, okay, interesting. Ah, oh, yeah, it's because the carbonate's here. Lanklin informed me of the ambush at the cargo port. Apparently there are more eyes on us than even I thought. I have felt a disturbance in the force. It leaves doom imprinted on my dreams. A grave and mysterious threat that could bring down my entire power base. This frozen man is a top Republic agent captured while investigating my most deeply embedded spy on Nar Shaddaa. One of my invisibles. The Force grants me a vision of doom. And immediately, my untraceable spy, who has left no footprints, no trail, is almost exposed. It makes me furious. Maybe your spy wasn't so invisible after all. Do not presume to tell me my business. There's no profit in it. I must learn what tipped off the Republic agent. He is the key to uncovering the nature of this threat. Now, while I fall the prisoner and painfully siphon every morsel of information I can from him, I have some concerns that require your special talents. I crave more action, so let's get on with it. No rest for the wicked, I guess. Go to the Imperial Post in the jungles outside the city. Commander Preach is stationed there. He has a seek and destroy task for you. What will I be seeking and destroying? Do not needlessly tax me. Commander Preach will supply all the details. I must tend to the torturing of this miserable Republic agent. Waste no time. I have more for you to do once this is complete. You are dismissed. Ah, interesting, interesting. Okay, yeah, that uh, lightsaber is absolutely terrible because obviously I've been doing uh, heroic missions, of course, and heroic missions are much, much better. For this kind of thing okay so this is basically a uh, an interrupt so every single interrupt that i've ever used goes on g so that's what i'm gonna do so otherwise we should be fine and we are going to be making our way over to commander pritch ah we even have a heroic mission right here wait a minute wait a minute what is this can't have too many credits that's what i like to hear let me give you the lowdown so Darth Valron is on the Dark Council, and his apprentice Lord Ket wants to advance, so he starts building a giant statue to his master. But Lord Ket doesn't want his master to know, so he brings in slaves from off-world. Slaves rebel, and we get this mess. Buy cheap slaves and get a rebellion. Everyone knows that. Here's where it gets complicated. Lord Ket wants to save face, but secretly. He calls in me and my mercs. 
By the time we get here, the slaves have captured some giant industrial drills and they're getting ready to bring down the whole giant statue. Our best team goes in with explosives to blow up the drills. Slaves kill every last one. Got a pile of credits for anyone who grabs those explosives, hooks them to a giant drill, then fights off slaves until the explosives detonate. Have we done this? I think we've done this one, but this is a daily quest, so I think I, I think I might as well just do it again, just because it's going to give me experience, right? Isn't it going to give me experience, actually? Yeah, it gives me experience every single time. Wow, that's actually kind of in, uh, kind of incredible. Actually, I feel like the uh, the daily system is actually very nice. Anyway. Let's speak to Commander Pritch. Commander Pritch at your service, my lord. Lord Barris informed me you'd be paying us a visit. And I'm prepared to offer full assistance. Aren't you a good little soldier? Lord Barris has always found me so, lord. Permit me to update you on the situation here. There's been much unrest in these parts recently, my lord. Capped off by a violent slave revolt that has the surrounding jungles overrun with armed slaves. Then they're not slaves anymore, are they? I stand corrected, my lord. Former slaves. What no one knows is that Lord Barris orchestrated the insurgents to disrupt one of his rivals, and he wants his involvement kept secret. Now the slave captains who led the revolt are threatening to expose Barris's involvement unless they receive more potent weapons. Continue, Commander. Lord Barris wants you to kill enough of the blackmailing slave captains to make the others lose their resolve. Violence is not always the answer. Well, I suppose. Many of these slave captains are former criminals with ties to the underworld. In fact, some have been selling their fellow slaves to the black market. If their followers found out, they'd be furious. If I had proof that they're selling their own people back into slavery, I could blackmail the slave captains to stop blackmailing Lord Barris. Blackmailing blackmailers? Sounds poetic. I bet they keep records of their transactions. If you rifle the slave captains' footlockers and find proof, I'll do what I can to use it against them. Just tell me where to look. The slave captains have their home base around the unfinished Colossus. I'll await any proof you salvage from the slave captain's belongings. Ooh, sounds fun. Sounds fun. Okay, I am on board. I am on board. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is the kind of thing I really, really enjoy about uh, yeah, basically any kind of game that provides you with an exceptional amount of choice. Choice-based mechanics are always super fun to me because if you are in a situation where you go ah yeah you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna decide to do this this time you know and obviously yeah sure okay fine there are probably a limited number of ways that you can play this game because let's face it you can play i mean okay fine fine technically you can decide your very own set of rules you know you don't have to go with the same exact stuff every single time like for example like i did many many years ago i played my uh my, my other sith warrior as an honorable character or uh, shall we say as a character that i felt was acting honorably whether that be honorable combat or saving people in need or what have you and that that led to some really interesting situations obviously he was not fully dark side or anything like that and wasn't fully light side so he was kind of a little bit half and half i think he was like more more like uh what was it 60 40 i think i think it was like 60 40 uh something along those lines but the fact is i love that kind of thing basically just seeing what happens the difference in how things progress is a significant portion of why you would actually do something like that it's so so fun it is really really fun anyway um i'm gonna be doing the explosives thing again and then we'll go over to the main story mission all right so from doing this quest looks like we got a new chest piece which is actually really nice and we also got a new uh new earpiece or whatever it is yeah a new earpiece so that's pretty cool, right? And uh, that's actually going to be helping us a great deal. I'm not entirely sure why I have this mount. Uh, not a big fan, I gotta say. Not a big fan. It makes me look like I'm riding around on some kind of hog, which I suppose is fine, but it doesn't really, <laughs> doesn't really look very Sith-like, does it? All right, so we're finding the captain's logs here. And, oh, th that was it? Okay, we're going to have to return to Captain Pritch. Okay, that's interesting. I actually thought we'd have to fight some kind of boss to be able to get that stuff. Uh, but apparently not. And uh, one thing that I wouldn't mind doing, obviously I'm not entirely sure if this is even worth me uh, spending the time 
But I'm thinking, should I go ahead and do the quest? The bonus objective. I'm not entirely sure. Because the bonus objective right now is kind of decent, I guess. It's kind of easy to do. I guess I'll try it out and see. Alright, so we're back with Commander Pritch. I did do the uh, random side objective. I think it gave me a little bit of extra experience, but obviously not that much. My lord, you're back. Did you find sufficient proof that the slave captains are selling their people back into slavery? I have yet to meet a challenge I can't conquer. Most impressive, my lord. I can see why Lord Barris has such faith in you. Now I can threaten to expose the truth. If the slave captains don't want to be torn limb from limb, they'll stop backmailing Lord Barris. I must stay, my lord. It's been inspiring watching you work. I'm sure it has. I'll inform Lord Barris that the situation has been handled. Uh, I, I'm actually kind of unsure whether that was... Uh, I, I, see, that's, that's a, another one of those funny times where I was thinking to myself... What would Vet think is funny here? What would Vet think is, is something really, really cool to say? And I was thinking, oh yeah, you know what? She's going to love me saying, oh yeah, you know, that was, that was a, a breeze for me. And then he's so serious when he says it. He's so serious. And it's just like, oh, okay. That's what he was going to say. All right, so we've now returned. And let's see exactly what information he's gained. I don't care what you do. Break my bones, burn my flesh. I'll tell you nothing. I will not be denied. Go spit, you monster! I didn't know bodies could bend like that. I think I'm gonna be sick. Spare yourself. You shouldn't have to see this. Ah, apprentice, you've returned. Commander Pritch confirmed that the slaves have been silenced. Good. I'm still trying to extract the information I crave from this Republic agent. He is much more resilient than anticipated. I thought you said you were good at this. Now is not a good time to test me, apprentice. Even as I brutalize him, I twist the force to keep him alive and feeling every sensation. That is the cruelest thing I've ever heard. I have another important task for you. It involves a renegade Sith Lord named Grathen, a particularly bothersome thorn in my side. Meet with my apprentice, Dracul Ball. He's my covert operative in Grathen's compound. Ball claims to have made a key discovery. I thought I might be your only apprentice. That makes Baal my rival. Try to tolerate him long enough to get the details and conclude your business there. Grathen's presence is useful to me, so I don't want him killed, just crippled. Find out what Ball has discovered, and do exactly as he instructs. Today I cripple a Sith Lord. Enjoy it. One day it won't seem so special. Now then, Republic wretch, where were we? Oh, yes. Tell me what I wish to know. Whoa, he's going for it, isn't he? He's going for it. Wow, I, I'm actually uh, not surprised. <laughs> I am not surprised at all that he's going for it so hard right there. But anyway. We now have to go to Lord Gratham's estate. As you as you know, we've been there already, which is exactly the reason why I actually wanted to go there beforehand, because now we just have to swoop in there, deal with Lord Gratham himself, and then get out. Ah, what do we have here? We have a story arc. Already you move through the citadel as if it were yours. Perhaps someday it will be. I am the apprentice and voice of Darth Charnas. I speak in his name, and I would bargain for your services. You have my attention. I require individuals capable of gaining prestige in a society weaned on secrecy and madness. Individuals who can earn respect, if not love. I need infiltrators to eliminate an enemy of the Sith. You would serve well. I serve no one. I suggest you learn that quickly. I chose my words poorly. I apologize. 
But you are needed. Our enemy is the Order of Revan. A cult of fools hidden at every stratum of Imperial society. For years, the Revanite heretics have secretly recruited military officers, powerful Sith, wealthy mercenaries, anyone who can add to their power. What makes them heretics? Instead of following the Emperor and his Dark Council, the Revanites follow a long-dead Sith Lord, tainted by Jedi ways. If you can uncover the Revanite leader's identity for us, my master will reveal him to the Dark Council. His destruction would be assured. All you have to do is join the cult. I can get you inside, but you must earn their trust. Tell me you have a plan. The Revanites have a secret compound in the jungle. Take this token to the cultist at the entrance. He will initiate you. Earn an audience with their leader. When you have seen his face, return here, and you shall have your reward. Ah, interesting. I think I remember this, actually. I think I might remember that particular quest, but this is actually a story quest as well. So basically what I should do is I should go and... Wow, okay, yeah, this is actually interesting because I... I think I remember doing something like this, but I don't think it was a story arc mission all those years ago. So maybe that's been changed. Maybe there is a... Oh, wait a minute. If I recall correctly, isn't there a planet-based story mission? And then there's also a class-based story mission, if I recall. I think that might actually be how it is. So if that is indeed how it is, that means that... Did I miss one on Korriban? I didn't, right? No, I don't think so. Anyway, that's fine. I'm happy to do that. I'm very, very intrigued. And I've already been to the Revanite camp, so I already have uh, the uh, the flight point there and all that wonderful stuff, so that should be fine. One thing that i got to say, actually, one thing that I think is a bit weird about this game is that when I'm on a mount, I consistently, almost instantly, get knocked off it. And I'm not entirely sure why that is. Why do I get knocked off instantaneously from some kind of ranged explosive? That doesn't seem to make any sense, considering uh, I, I feel like I should probably have some kind of resilience to it. No, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I'm, uh, maybe I'm not supposed to have resilience to it. But whatever the case, there's the guy. He's literally right here. That's very funny. All right. You must be the operative Lord Barris sent. I thought he'd choose a stealthy assassin, not some senseless savage. Watch who you're calling a savage. You're not talking to one of Barris's Imperial peons. I'll be working for Lord Barris long after you've worn out your welcome. I highly doubt that. We've got business to handle. With the entire complex roused, we'll have to get in each other's faces another time. Now listen. Lord Grathen is a rogue Sith who boldly defies the Dark Council. Locked away here, he's been untouchable. Lord Barris wants to let Grathen know he can be reached. And after a year undercover, I've discovered the way. Lord Grathen has a son. Maybe in another year you can find out his shoe size. He wears boots, not shoes, smart mouth. I was assigned to find Grathen's weakness. He's kept his son a secret in order to protect him from his enemies. Grathen would be devastated if his only child and heir was dead. That would send a message. I'm no baby killer. We're not talking about a baby here. Grathen's kid is nearly 20 and strong with the Force. He's been trained in the ways of the Sith since birth. You'll have your hands full. I highly doubt it. All right. Maybe underestimating your foes works for you. Grathen's away on business. I managed to hack a special spike that will get you inside his private quarters. But first you're going to have to knock out Grathen's surveillance station so you aren't seen entering the quarters. That sounds simple enough? Yes, we wouldn't want to tax you with anything too complicated. All you have to do is locate the monitoring stations around the compound and, well, stick your lightsaber in them. Think you can handle that, brute? Keep calling me names, Bo. You're playing with fire. Is it so easy to get under your skin? That's all then. Destroy the monitoring stations, then get inside Grathen's private quarters. The son's name is Beelslit. Find him and end him. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Try not to screw up. I kinda like his attitude. 
What? Are you serious, vet? Are you serious? Ah, well, maybe you want to go out with him then. <laughs> ah, that is super funny. All right, so <laughs> clearly, clearly we've got some... Uh, yeah. <laughs> we might have some competition for vet's affection right there. That's, that's quite funny, isn't it? Anyway, on a more serious note, we will be obviously eliminating whoever we need to along the way. Uh, have we, we? Oh yeah, look at that. Yep, yep. There we go. Killed everyone. Very nice indeed. But yeah, do do you see that guy? You see how audacious he is? He's literally insulting us at every turn, and it's so funny as well because he comes he comes at you with such, uh, you know, sort of uh, shall we say smart remarks and. You, you can only respond in a certain way every single time. And it's just super funny because when you think you're being smart, then he comes back with something smarter. And I think that's that's hilarious. That is just super funny. Anyway, let's see. Uh, wait a minute. I've got to go up, don't I? Yeah. Uh, hello there. Yeah. I actually very much appreciate the fact that they've given you a massive, uh, like... I don't even know what this is. What is this called? Rage? Fury or something like that? I don't know what it's called. Uh, the resource, basically. What, what is it called? Let me have a look. It does not... Does, it does not tell me. It, it does not tell me. I have no idea. It does not tell me. So, anyway, point is... <laughs> when you have zero resource, which is what you use to attack, obviously, and then you use this... Wait, wait, wait. It doesn't... Ah, there we go. Rage. There we go. It builds six rage. Yeah, so basically when you have zero rage and you use the uh, this ability, Battering Assault, you can literally just spam Vicious Slash a huge amount. And it's just amazing. It, it just makes everything so, so simple, especially for short-term fights. Obviously not for longer term, even though it is going to give you so many more resources than you know what to do with, as long as you keep using it on cooldown. And there we go. Mother, a stranger approaches. You don't know the half of it, kid. I am Sylvanta Grathen. How dare you enter my son's room uninvited? Who are you? Step aside, woman. I'm here for the boy. You'll have to kill me first. And while my son is still an acolyte, I am fully Sith. I suppose I should be trembling. Soon your corpse will be twitching. Beelslit, take cover. No, mother! I stand at your side! Attack! Uh... What? Are you serious? Okay, well, that's actually quite funny because there's no way they can handle this. As you can quite clearly tell, that was... Yeah, very simple. Stop! You are more than a match for us! Mother, if I am the target, save yourself! I don't want to see you die! My son, you must not sacrifice yourself for anyone, not even me! You must endure at all costs. Assassin, you've carved your way into the inner sanctum of Lord Grathen's compound, all to kill a boy. You are a breath away from the master himself. Spare us, and I'll help you destroy Lord Grathen instead. You want me to kill your husband? Hmm. Aren't you the dutiful wife? I married Lord Grathen for power. It was a means to an end. Now I want out. I'm strong, but can't touch my husband. How long I've waited for someone to end his oppressive rule. You have my attention. A wicked plan is taking shape. Long ago, my husband was nearly beheaded. Now, he cannot exist without his helmeted mask. Everyone knows this. Kill Lord Grathen. My son will wear the mask and assume his mantle. He'll publicly rant that his son was murdered. No one will be the wiser. What's in it for me? In addition to appearing successful in your task, I'll reward you in either credits or an item of power. Your choice. I prefer a powerful item. Excellent. You won't regret it. Lord Grathen deserves to die. With this pass card, you may enter Lord Grathen's secret chamber. You'll find him there. After you've ended Lord Grathen's miserable existence, Bring his mask helmet to me. Be sure there are no surprises when I return. I'm certainly not interested in angering someone as lethal as you. Besides, you're doing me a great service. Be wary of Lord Grathen. There are few as attuned to the dark side as he. Um, 
I don't think I like the sound of that. There is no way. I'm sorry. There is absolutely no way that this guy is attuned to the dark side as much as someone like Darth Valron or uh, or even Darth Barris or any of these guys. I mean, really, come on now. There's no way. Not in a million years. Surely. I don't know. And it's quite funny that she still says that she was strong, even though we absolutely obliterated them in under two seconds. But I guess that is just part of the script, of course. My uninvited guest finally arrives. Your feelings betray you, youngster. I sensed your murderous intentions the moment you entered my sanctum. What's more, your unshielded mind has revealed your accomplice, my loving wife. She sends her love. Selvanta is a user, child. She's obsessed with power. It's one of the things that attracted me to her, but it's outgrown its amusement. I am death itself, child. Come embrace the darkness. Uh, right, okay. How, how fast do you think this guy's gonna die? Not that fast, actually. Surprisingly enough, not that fast, but still pretty fast, nevertheless. He's... Wow, okay, that was that was actually a lot faster than I anticipated, but yeah, I actually thought he was going to be a little bit slower, but you know, that I mean that as I said, having having a companion on DPS, especially when you're a, a tankier class, it just it just makes everything so it just makes everything so easy. It, it just kills it kills everything so fast. Yes. I sensed my husband's death. Lord Grathen is no more. What pleasure to think he suffered. He got what he deserved. Mother, what does this mean? Am I truly to become the master of this house? You will wear his mask and assume his identity. But you are not yet ready to rule, my dear. The voice will be yours, but the words will be mine. I have longed for my father's death and the chance to claim his power. Yes. This is a great day. You have served us well, my new friend. You promised me a powerful item. I may be Sith and mistress of a renegade house in defiance of the Dark Council, but I'm a woman of my word. For appearance sake, you'll still be unwelcome here. But today, my son and I have become your secret allies. Be sure it remains a secret. Have no fear. It would be disastrous for me if our secret were exposed. Now leave me. I have much to do now that I control House Grafham. Ooh, I'm actually kind of intrigued about this. This is another one of those times where you just kind of have to go, huh, now, now what, you know? Now what are we going to actually get to see in the future? Because imagine, we have allies right here, right now, and who knows how useful they're going to be in, you know, a month's time or, you know, a year's time or however long. It depends, obviously, you know, if they get murdered by someone else. But the fact is, this is definitely something that I didn't do before, did I? I don't know. <laughs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. And now it's time to, uh, well, we're not going to kill this guy, are we? No. I'm... I'm pretty sure we're not going to kill him, but we are going to uh, hopefully try to outsmart him. Maybe we can kill him. I, I hope we can kill him, actually. I'm surprised you survived. So is it done? Is Grathen's son dead? He put up a good fight. So you had trouble, huh? Maybe Lord Barris's opinion of you is overblown. Doesn't say much for Grath and security forces if a clumsy clod like you was able to bang into his private chamber and off his son. Why don't you back up that mouth with action? That's exactly what I had in mind. Killing the murderer of Grath and son will solidify my cover here. Barris can replace you easily. You're making a big mistake. Though I'm more than capable of facing you alone, a smart man uses every advantage. And I am a smart man. Intruder is here! Everyone to me! Attack! Did that guy literally just appear out of nowhere? 
Yeah, I think he did. But yeah, anyway, this guy is literally just some random elite who is just going to get blasted out of the sky by Vet. As you can see, she just absolutely obliterated him. And that is it. We're done. And now we have arrived in the Revenite compound, but that is going to be it for this episode. We're going to do the Revenites in the next one, and we're going to return to Darth Barris at that point too. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.